Okay, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon Part 9, Take 2. In case you didn't know, my old Part 9 really sucked. So, basically, I'm just going to redo this and we're going to forget that even existed. Okay, since Part 8, I have installed the benches and litter bins. Um, I also hired handyman and mechanic. Of course, the handymen haven't gotten to this area yet. Hopefully, they'll get to it soon. Oh, and um, we get new scenery and theming. Classical and Roman theming objects. I'll be going over that in part 10. But for the time being, we're going to build a log flume. So, now, there's a certain thing that you have to keep in mind when you're building a log flume. Okay? You have... One of the things that I really, really strongly recommend for building rides such as log flumes and car rides and that is to have graph paper available and graph it out on graph paper because it makes everything so much more organized and so much more neat and it's just really, really helpful. So I have my sheet of graph paper right here and we are going to start this so we're going to have eight pieces of station platform one two three four five six seven eight All right then we're gonna have turn because as you see one of the very very good things about roller coaster tycoon is the fact that everything's on a grid so uh, it's really nice. So I'm just gonna. <coughs> oh my jeez. Right. So, as you can see, we have a bit of a problem here. It's nothing that we can't fix, though. <coughs> One moment. Yeah, as you can see, um, the height here isn't the same as the height there. Well, that's something you're going to have to keep in mind until the end of the ride. You can either do it, like, right at the station platform end, like right here, or you could do it sometime in the ride, as I stated before. Well, I actually didn't state it before, now did I? I didn't state it before, so, like, if you want to have a dip here, and that can circumvent, or prevent... Uh, any problems from alignment with the station platform. So, I have planned to have this be uh, a little longer so that we can put a ride in there. So, I'm going to have another turn. I'm just going to bring this down and have it flat when we get to six. And we're going to have a turn. And, oh, scrambled eggs has break, broken down. Good thing I hired mechanic. So as you can see, we have, m we can either put more log from ride, or we can do a little bit of station platform. Oh, and we also get an award for the safest park in the country. I'll go over awards shortly. So... Or you could do a combination of uh, both the uh, normal track and station platform like this and that. So as you can see, we have a much better log flume ride than we had in the original part 10. And you just click entrance, place the entrance wherever you want it, and exit wherever you want it. <laughs> so our first log flume ride fairly successful nothing really wrong now 
for if you want like a piece of track say I want this track to loop under there I think that the height difference that you have to have is three it might be two or four I know that it's somewhere in that area that's what one of the really good advantages of ha knowing the height of how high your ride is and you know it's really good to have those markers turned on so before we um, open this we're just going to test the ride I've already gone over everything all the defaults and all, all that are just fine we could play music if I, we really wanted to but I really don't feel the need to so I'm just going to place the queue line and I'm going to place it just right here because uh, if you place it just in a straight line like that it'll get in the way or uh, <coughs> waste the space that is um, right here where I built the path so as you can see that's preventing a problem or being very ergonomical so now that we've got the log flume test starting to test you know we can just open up open it up and once it's done testing there will be a bunch of people to get on the ride and enjoy it for what it is so as in last part, we are going to build a merry-go-round inside the area of the log flume. This is very, very good. A very, you know, very nice. You know, we're not wasting any space with this park. But, we have a problem. Guests can't really get to it, so to fix that problem, we are going to first build a queue line, because I'm like that. Then we're going to just build a path out like this, and see the button on the lower right corner here? Just click that, make sure the arrow is pointed this way, and you get a uh, slope buttons. So, it's just like building a ride, except it's a path. And now that that's over with, you can just click on the lower left button, and you can get back to your old mode. See? Nothing to it. But this is not a very good design. I'll be going over that in a later part. Not quite this part, but this is basically all I'm doing for this retake of part 9. It, I hope you enjoyed this uh, second take. Uh, part 10 will be continued after this part, not the old part 9. So I really hope you in enjoyed this read done part. Uh, my English is pretty bad today. Yeah. So, I will see you next time. This is Studio 93. Goodbye.